This is going to be a checklist of the items that you need in your summer travel capsule wardrobe. I'm here to show you how. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing today my summer travel capsule wardrobe, which you can fit in a carry-on. I've tried and tested it with my Katie Loxton travel bag and of course it fits in a sort of wheelable suitcase, whatever you prefer to travel with. Now I was asked on my Instagram what to pack for a girls weekend away to Parma, for those maybe romantic long weekends away or if you're just going away on a holiday in the sunshine, don't want to bother with checked in luggage and then this video is for you. Swimwear of course is a must on a hot weather holiday. I would recommend taking a swimsuit and a bikini so you're covered for sort of sunbathing, getting a tan for any activities you might be doing. I love this Honda G swimsuit which has a low cut back. They're great for doubling up as bodysuits. If you get the chance to try Honda G, I 100% recommend. It's the most comfortable and flattering swimwear I've ever tried. You don't have to worry about sizing as well because they're one size fits all. I have four basic tops that I suggest you pack in your carry-on and a white t-shirt is just a classic. Even in summer and on your holidays, I always take one with me. I have a white t-shirt styling video action that I will leave linked as well down below if you want to carry on watching more from me after this video. For sleeveless tops, I have gone for a tank top. I've decided to go for a one shoulder tank top. I just think they're really flattering and maybe a little bit more dressy for in the evenings. And then a good old bodysuit. This is the Zara striped backless bodysuit you will have seen in my spring capsule wardrobe. Again, a great day to night piece. Super comfy, especially if you're planning on eating and drinking loads. I always find that these stretchy bodysuits from Zara are a godsend. When it comes to shirts, I think it's quite nice to have a cropped short sleeve shirt, which again can be worn from day to night. This one gives me Jacquemus vibes. I picked this up from Zara last year. Pretty sure they'll probably have a similar available, but I will link similar items below where I can't find the exact ones because I've had some of these pieces for a while, which is how I like to wear my clothes. If you're new to my channel, I like to buy pieces that I keep in my wardrobe and wear lots and lots of times. So it's about investing in those key pieces, those basics, things you can wear again and again. For the evenings when it's a little bit chillier, you'll want to take a jacket. Now you might want to take a denim jacket like I'm wearing now, but I was thinking if I was going away with the girls to Parma or maybe like a little romantic trip somewhere, I might want something a little bit more dressy. So as you know, cropped jackets are everywhere at the moment, the boucle ones, you'll have seen this one here on my channel before. So I'd go for a lightweight cropped jacket Preferably in a lighter hue, so I've gone for this boucle number from Zara, which I believe is still available, which has my YSL badge on it as an extra little detail. I would recommend packing with you a shorts set. So it could be a linen set. I've actually just ordered this Deji Studio set for my trip to Portugal. It's not arrived yet. So I've included one that I had last year that I took on holiday with me. This is from Nap Loungewear and it's like a silky material. We have a pair of short shorts, as you'll see in the cutaway, and then a shirt. I think these are so versatile as a beach cover up, wearing in the day with trainers for some sightseeing, and then jazzing up at the evening with a nice statement earring and a low heel. So again, really great multifunctional item to take away in your summer travel capsule wardrobe. I have three pairs of bottoms, starting off with, of course, a pair of shorts. You could go for high-waisted, tailored, short shorts, long shorts, denim shorts, whatever suits your style, but just a pair of shorts. But you could even swap this out for a denim skirt if you're more comfortable. I have, we know I love a gold jeans so much, I also have some of their shorts. Uh, I had some last year, but now they're too small for me. So I ordered these from my Teresa the other day and they had a discount on. I know Farfetch stock loads and they have like a 30% off members at the moment, I think. So you might be able to get a few of these pieces with a little bit of money off. As well as a pair of shorts, I would recommend a skirt. Now for me, I just think a slip skirt is really versatile. I've taken this one to Barbados with me before and I've worn it on the beach with a bikini. Of course, you can wear it in the day with flat sandals and a tank top. You wear it in the evening, maybe with the shirt and some heels. Just so many styling options. I just feel like the satin's a really nice material, but you might want to opt for a linen skirt uh, or a long floaty pleated skirt. But I just feel like a satin slip is a must-have basic in anyone's wardrobe. I would opt for a lightweight pair of trousers. Again, you could go for the linen if you wanted, but I've gone for a pair of more smarter tailored trousers. These were from Zara last year, really lightweight and breathable. I would also travel in these as well, but again, you know what I'm gonna say, 
wear them in the day, wear them in the evening. You can just mix and match them with everything here on the rail, which is obviously the point of a capsule wardrobe. All your pieces go together and you'll be able to create multiple outfits as you will see in next week's video. Of course, I am drawn to black when it comes to dresses, but you can opt for any color. And again, I think a versatile dress. I have a beautiful knitted dress here from Cezanne, which has a lovely low cut V at the back. Crocheted, you could wear this over your swimwear in the day. You could wear it obviously out walking. You could wear it in the evening, so nice with a red lip, some gold jewelry. So just a dress that's also suitable for the beach, for day wear, for the pool, going to breakfast, you name it. I have four pairs of shoes in my summer travel capsule, but I just love, obviously in summer, you can wear little barely there sandals that don't take up much room in your suitcase. So I would travel in my trainers. And yes, I'm taking trainers because I tend to wear my nice dainty footwear in the evening and then I'll swap out to trainers when we go for a walk after dinner with Roman in the pram because my feet are quite sensitive and we don't want blisters. So if you're planning on doing maybe any walking around on a city trip, some sightseeing or like me, evening walks, want your feet to be comfortable, pack a pair of trainers, but wear them on the plane because they're the most bulky footwear that you'll probably take with you. You could just take one pair if you like, but I would take two pairs of flat sandals. I would take a pair that's suitable for getting wet around the pool on the beach. I just love Javianas. They're just an all-rounder, super comfortable, look chic with all your looks. And then also a leather or a more maybe jazzy pair of flat sandals. I love this pair from Ancient Greek that I got last year. They're the Kaziz sandals, I think it's called. They've got these really delicate straps that go around your ankle. They are padded. They have a nice little rubber sole at the bottom so they've got grips, so there's no slipping. And they look really nice paired with the dress or with the evening wear if you didn't want to take heels on holiday, which I don't always tend to do, but I've included a pair in this capsule. In case any of you are going on a hen do or honeymoon or you just like wearing heels, I would obviously always opt for a comfortable pair. I've actually got a new pair from Mango in this beautiful brown colour, like a thong sandal, manageable heel. Again, they have a grip on the bottom. I bought these for a wedding that we're going to in Portugal and these would be great as well for throwing in your carry-on because they are so dainty and small so they will just fit in there really easily. As you'll see, there is no bulky footwear apart from the trainers included here bags. We all know I love a good handbag. Now I have three and what I would be doing to save space in my carry-on when packing all of these items is probably wearing all the bags all together. So on the plane you can tend to wear a bag across your body. So I would be wearing my Jacquemus Le Grand Bambino or a small handbag of sorts across your body and normally as I'm going onto the plane I do tend to Conceal it under my jacket, just in case someone says, you need to put that inside your carry-on. So I would take a small across the body bag, which is also functional if possible for evening wear. So I love the fact that the Jacquemus has a top handle. You can remove this strap, so it's also perfect for the evening as well. For a beach bag, I would take, of course, my beautiful Loewe straw handbag. I will leave some alternative high street options linked below as well. So what I would be doing is I'd have my crossbody bag on and I'd also have this on my shoulder or I would have my crossbody bag inside my bag. So this would be my sort of handbag that you can also take on with you with your carry-on luggage. You might just want to take two bags, but I thought I would just add an extra little cute little pouch across the body bag, which is a nice little touch for evening look. So a pop of gold to go with my jewelry. This is my APC Ninon bag. And again, it's really small. You could even actually take your makeup in this as well. If you wanted to put your powders and makeup and things in there while you are packing your carry on. So it kind of doubles up as a vanity case as well. Now for accessories, I just thought I would include a couple just to show what I would generally take with me to mix and match for outfits. So I would take a pearl choker necklace and a chunky chain necklace, chunky chain bracelet and a pearl bracelet, and then some sort of statement gold earrings. I don't really tend to wear jewellery that much on holiday in the day, so I would mainly just wear these in the evening for jazzing up my outfits. Another essential, of course, is a pair of sunglasses. I would just generally take one pair 
if I'm just taking carry-on luggage, they take up less room. And I do just love a really chic, classic, plain pair of cat eyes. These are the YSL Mika, and I know the stories always do a great alternative for these, so I'll leave those linked in the description box below. And then I really feel like a belt can transform your outfits. I would travel in my belt as well. This is the Isabel Marant Lucky Belt. So this one's kind of like two belts in one. We have a black side and a brown side, so you can just add touches to your outfit to elevate them slightly, especially if you are maybe wearing the same piece a couple of times, the way you accessorize can completely change the whole look. I could not go on holiday without a hat. I do have a slight obsession with lack of colour hats, but I like to keep my face out of the sun. I do tend to get a bit of pigmentation underneath my eyes. Obviously, I'm more conscious of ageing and things like that, and we all know the sun is not always great for your skin. So I have just chosen one hat, which is this tan, because I love black and tan together. If we look at all the colours on my rail, but obviously, personal preference, you might want a bucket hat, but you might want a cap. But I just feel like these hats are quite elegant and chic as well, and they suit lots of different occasions by the pool going for a walk if you're doing girly drinks if you're on a hendo um, and of course I would travel in this as well because of the size of it it would take up quite a lot of room in your hand luggage of course to make your packing a little bit lighter you can travel in some of these pieces as well so with that being said let me know in the comments below if you have any upcoming trips abroad don't forget to save this as a checklist I would love if you liked and subscribed because next week's video I'm going to be wearing lots of different outfits from my travel capsule wardrobe so you can get some inspiration of ways you can wear these items together happy packing and happy holidays and I will see you in my video next week bye guys